Hey guys, this is Vanavir again. Um, I will be showing you another tool. Uh, this tool is called Curse Client, and this is aimed towards uh, you World of Warcraft players out there, uh, because this uh, tool is specifically for World of Warcraft. I believe there's a, they also incorporate some other uh, MMORPGs, but I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, once again, it's called Curse Client. Just Google it and download it. Uh, as you can see, it basically um, lists all your installed um, add-ons and keeps them up to date. And that's that's the main uh, use of it. That you know you you can actually let it run uh, in the background and it will automatically and continuously update your add-ons. Um, so you always have the newest version, and that does save a lot of headache because you know some add-ons are updated daily. Uh, and it's just annoying to uh, visit the website each day to, to see if there's a newer, ver a newer version. Um, so this just basically, this is basically um, a headquarters um, for all your add-ons, so to speak. Um, you can set up some different options, like um, if you want to be uh, notified of alpha and beta releases, uh, or in my case, if you only want you know the final release, the stable release. Um, this is extra useful for people who are n not really that computer savvy um, because I've noticed that a lot of people use add-ons for World of Warcraft, obviously. Um, but what I also noticed is that a lot of people don't regularly um, update their add-ons. And here's the problem. Um, if you use an older uh, add-on for the newest World of Warcraft version, it might generate an insane amount of errors in the background and you won't be able to tell. It, it will not show you. It will just keep on generating the errors over and over and over again. And uh, what this does is it basically lowers the responsiveness of WoW. So it, it, it basically um, adds latency or your frame rate will drop, things like that. And a lot of people don't di don't really notice that because they don't know um, that uh, the add-ons can generate an infinite amount of errors if they are outdated. So basically what you have to do is make sure um, that you always have the newest version. Yeah, I'm kind of distracted by this, uh, by this ad here, I'm sorry. Um, basically what you have to do uh, is you have to keep all your add-ons up to date in order to avoid any unnecessary frame drops or added latency in the game. Um, because they can really seriously mess up your uh, World of Warcraft uh, performance. So it's very, very important that you keep your add-ons up to date, especially if you have very elaborate add-ons, um, uh, like Deadly Boss Mod, Atlas Loot, um, you know, things like that. Add-ons that are fairly big and complex and take up a lot of, you know, system resources um, if you use them. Um, so yeah, that's why this program is uh, ideal and it's free to use, so basically um, there's no con. The only downside actually is that it's fairly slow. Uh, the it seems to have been programmed fairly poorly um, because it's very sluggish, it's very, uh, very slow, it, start ups, uh, it starts up uh, um, very slowly, it takes a while. Uh, but once it's loaded up, uh, you can just minimize it to your tray if you want to. You can set all those things up. Um, I think there was somewhere around the tools. Yeah, the option here. You know, you can uh, keep it in the tray and you can set how, uh, how often it should check for updates, um, things like that. Um, and there's also a premium version, uh, which basically, well, improves overall. Um, reliability. It will actually update all your add-ons at the same time and if you're not a premium user you can only update two add-ons at the same time but the add-ons are very small so you can basically just click update just wait a couple of seconds and then click the other um, and you can just basically update all of them uh, manually. So it's not it's not that big of a deal actually. Um, so yeah I hope you uh, enjoy this tutorial and good luck and see you later.